Hey everyone, my name is Nancy Taylor. Welcome, welcome to today's workout. It is 20 minutes upper body. All you need is a mini band. I have my extra heavy one, but it might be because it's a little bit stretched out. We are just focusing on your upper body. We're going through specific exercises. We have already warmed up. If you haven't warmed up yet, go grab a link below. I have a warm up. It's five minutes. Get your body warm up, warmed up, or you could just go for a walk, go for a jog, just get your blood flowing. Do some, um, you could do some core work just to get that body flowing. Get it ready to work, work, work. I think a bug just bit me, man. Okay, let's go. Now what you can do with these workouts, you can combine them however you want. So this is upper body. You could do 20 minutes of upper body because that's all you have time for. Or you could do 20 minutes of upper body, 20 minutes of lower body. There's your workout for the day. You're here, you're gonna pulse out, out, out. Good, we're targeting all parts of your upper body. So you're gonna have a lot of fun today. I'm right on a path, so we have folks passing by. You can go ahead. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, no, no, super chill. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'm right on everyone's path. Good, you're gonna raise this one up, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Shoulders will be burning. I don't even need the band to get those shoulders burning in this one. Good, we're here in Arizona, filming these 20 minute workouts right here along the water. The sun is setting behind you guys. We're gonna get some shots with the sun as well. If you have a full 60 minutes, you have a full workout with a five minute warm up, 20 minute arms, 20 minute legs, and then hit your core. Good, okay, back to that beginning. Pulse, 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 pulse. Got it? Hit it, hit it. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, I'm controlling the motion back and out. Now let's talk about a, a specific message here for your upper body. How much, how much time do we spend kind of hunched over or we don't even notice it, but maybe our posture is starting to just naturally hunch over. I want you to be aware of that posture. Man, these little bugs are getting me. Arms up and down. Think about that posture while you're driving, while you're sitting. If we're naturally doing this, just open up our chest, open up your heart to accept anything it needs. If you're feeling like maybe you're drowning in laundry and dishes and all the things, all the responsibilities, I want you to take 10 minutes, 10 minutes to breathe, to ground yourself, to feel, go through your senses, the five senses. What do you currently see? What do you currently smell? Okay, 30 seconds, pulse, pulse, pulse. It's a great way to bring you back to the present moment. So many times we are um, worried about the past. Let's say that we're worried about what's happened in the past or maybe we're worried that it's going to happen again or we're like fearful of the future. So worried of the past, fearful of the future, but what about this very moment right now? Think about this present moment, the current moment you're in. How do I make sure that I'm living in this present moment? Up and down, up and down. So many times we set goals in the future, which are such beautiful things to have. We have those goals, maybe it's a weight loss goal, maybe it's to get on with your nutrition, maybe it's to hit your sleep, hit your steps. Whatever the goal is to improve your health and wellness, it, this is taught in Atomic Habits, the book Atomic Habits. We get so focused on that goal, but we don't reach it, or we reach it and then it goes away, or we can't maintain it. Back to your pulse, back to the pulse. The way that we're able to create a lifestyle that hits those goals is focusing on the daily habits. So instead of focusing on, I wanna lose 20 pounds, what if I focused on, I'm going to drink 100 ounces of water today, every day. I'm gonna practice that. So you have that goal in the future, but the way that you get to that goal is by your daily decisions, what you do every single day. You gotta keep checking to make sure no one's worried about passing me. <laughs> Up and down, shoulders are burning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only 20 minutes we have together. So this is the shoulder segment. The next two exercises, we're gonna be working those that back. So you're gonna feel some back work. Okay, only arms in this 20 minutes. Only arms. So you get to customize. If you have more time, you get to do two of the workouts. It's 40 minutes. All right, if you have 20 minutes, you do one of these. You're building the habit of showing up. Okay, we're here at the top. You're gonna imagine you have a bar, you're pulling it down and back up pulling it down and back up. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. So you can see my arms. Pulling it down and back up. 
how many times have we focused on our flaws or what we don't like about ourselves? What if that was your superpower? What if what was made you weird or made people say like, that's odd? What if that was your gift, like your superpower? Bent over row, you're here. You're gonna pull back and release. Pull back, my elbows go back, okay? Pull back and release. We're working your back. You should feel this also in your triceps. Ah. Is there a specific quote or a scripture or something that you refer to often when you're doubting yourself or when you are in those moments where you're kind of at that breaking point where you're struggling, you're struggling, right? What do you do? What do you do? Um, what was our back one that we did? Oh, lap pull downs. The there we go. Lap pull downs. What's your go-to? Mine definitely is to remove myself. I call it take a break. I model for my kids. I learned this from my parenting coach, BJ. You'll have to check out his YouTube channel. And he taught me parents need to take a break. We can teach our kids to take a break. It's not time out. It's just, I'm going to go calm down. Or I'm going to go take a break from this until I feel like I can be in alignment and make the decisions and respond in a way that's in alignment with who I want to be. And I love that because we need that as adults. <laughs> we need it as kids. It's just a really great skill to have. It doesn't mean we're perfect though. Um, there's a lot um, that I'm learning with, with parenting kids. I don't want to shame them or have them feel guilty or follow these perfectionist tendencies. I already see some of those in my kids and I'm like, am I enhancing this by complimenting when their bed looks perfect or you know instead of just questioning it i want to love on them and i want to build a strong relationship with them um, and I, it doesn't have to be i want them to have that freedom to choose what they want to just completely align with who they are i don't want to change who they are and it's so fun to enjoy who they are and to see just their talents and skills that they have okay bent over row let's go Come on, who knew a mini band could work so good, right? These are great for on vacation. You can do them in your house, just grab your mini band. Something simple to do, but you're gonna get great resistance training. It is a little bit higher rep. You'll notice we don't have rest time. We're just going from one to the next. And the reason why is because um, we're not doing, if you have heavier weight, so progressive overload, let's say that I was doing shoulder press with 12 pound dumbbells, and then I did 10 reps. I'm doing it slow and controlled. And then the next week, I do 10 pound dumbbells. The third week, 10 pound dumbbells. The fourth week, the 10 pound dumbbells are getting easier. So I'm gonna do the same amount of reps, but I'm gonna do 12 pound dumbbells. My muscle is adapting and getting stronger so it can withhold the load it can it can lift more all right bicep curl right arm i'm gonna just bend over here for this one you can bend here you don't have to bend if you don't want to you can stand to do it that bent, bent over kind of felt weird to me if your bounds the right length maybe it won't feel weird but you're gonna bicep curl and then on the eccentric that's when you're going back down control that arm control that arm on the back down Good, awesome. You're gonna switch. Boop, boop, boop. Good. If you need a little bit more resistance, maybe hold that down a little bit closer to the your hip. It's across the body, bicep curl. We're going through each exercise four times. Did you notice? Yeah. Having a good time over there, huh? We've worked shoulders, we've worked our back, now we're working biceps. We have chest and triceps. Okay, big switch, switch, switch. Keep going here. Switch, switch. Okay, 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Left arm up, down, up, and down, up, and down. Pull up and down. Good. 18 seconds. 
15 more, hi. 13, good, 12, 11, 10. Gotta keep my eye, there are bikers on this trail. <laughs> Might go down there to the dirt for the next ones. Big switch, other arm, up and down, and down. Good, last time doing this bicep curl. Again, the biceps is a bigger muscle than the shoulder and the triceps. Sometimes we like a little bit harder resistance, so maybe pull that band away a little bit further. Good, good, good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two. You're gonna switch, pull, switch, pull. I'll show you from the side. Switch, pull, switch, pull. So there's always resistance, and then I pull it. And then I pull it, right? Pull it. That's it. Pull it. Pull it. I would love to hear in the comments, which are your favorite workouts? Do you have any requests or things that you would like to see um, for a series? I'm, I'm creating a couple more series here for this, the fourth quarter of 2022. So we wanna make sure that you guys get to choose. All right, oh, we're going to push-ups. Sorry, I had to, I gotta check what, um, what's on there. So it's up high on my arms, push-ups down and up. It also kind of helps you to get back up. Down and up. We're now working the chest. Down and up. Okay. Down and up. Down and up. I want you to take the next exercise. Kind of wacky. I know there's more shoulders. You're gonna pull, open up those arms. Open and release. Open, control, control, control. Targeting here. Open and release. Control the open, control the close. E -e yeah, there we go. Open, close, open, push ups. Here we go, guys. Last segment in this arm workout is your triceps. So we have three more sets through the, the chest, then we're going to work those triceps. How are you guys doing at home? Everyone, everyone's alive, <laughs> doing well. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Doing a great job. Whew. Sometimes that's all we need to hear, right? We're already harsh enough on ourselves, telling ourselves what we're not doing a great job in. We need someone, especially ourselves, to be our biggest cheerleader, to be rooting us on, telling us what we're doing well. 14 seconds, keep going, 10 more seconds, eight more, that's it, five, four, three, two, one, time, arms come here, okay, we're gonna do push-ups, round number three, I'm on the seashells, elbows go slightly back, they don't go straight out, Hallelujah. Sweating over here. Okay, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Open, close, open, close, open. Last set of push-ups. Last set, and then we're in our last two exercises. Oh no, my band twisted. That's not gonna be very comfortable. Oh well, gotta do what you gotta do. Come on. Three, two, one. Last time with those arms overhead. You can do this. Rock and roll. Pulse it open. 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 
One more exercise to go. Well, there's two more. One more muscle group. Working those triceps. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, five more. Four, three, two, one. Time. Behind the back, you're gonna pulse. Okay, so put that band behind your back. You're gonna pulse here, up and down, up and down. Pulse up, release, pulse up, release. Oh, if run looks kind of fun until you're running, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Have you ever done a race and you get in, in the middle, you're like, why do I sign up for this stuff? And then at the end, you're like, that was the best thing ever. What's the next one? I do it all the time. Okay, up higher on your on your arms. I'm actually gonna take the band off for this. Tricep dips. You're here. Elbows back and up. Sorry. Back and up. Back and up. So fun. Good job, Arizona, for using this trail. Proud of you. So awesome. I bet everyone's just like, oh, it's finally not 120 degrees, right? It's just so great. Okay, back to those tricep pulses behind your back. We got four minutes left, guys. Come on. Pulse. Pulse. Did I miss any exercises? Hope not. If so, maybe we'll be shorter in the 20 minutes. Maybe you'll be happy about that. 10 seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, tricep dips. Let's go. I know, you're working it at home. It's the water so fun to bike by. I'm gonna do this workout right here. My elbows go straight back. Imagine I'm behind you and I'm just pulling on them. I'm yanking on them. Come on back. Come on back. Come. Nice. Woof. Okay, pulse, pulse, pulse. Last two rounds. Last two. Bend from the waist, I'm not hunched. I want a nice flat back and then hinge at that waist. Good. Had to have some palm trees. We don't get those in Utah. So those are a little bit in our shot, along with the power lines. We do have those in Utah. <laughs> All right. Tricep dips, elbows back. Whew. Back, back, back. All right, awesome, awesome. Do we have two more exercises? Did I miss anything? Pull down, push up, push up. Not sure. Okay, it was a little short on time, but awesome job. If you wanna see another workout, if you have time to do the leg workout, just I'll leave all the 20 minute playlist, I'll leave it linked below so you can kind of pick and choose. All right guys, we'll see ya.